Hello, this is part three, weapon switching. In this demo, I show how to do weapon switching. Under weapons, I created a base gun and two children guns. On the base gun, I give it a gun ID. I assign the gun ID and the children. This is gun ID 1. This is gun ID 2. In the player character, this blueprint initializes the gun when the game starts. This blueprint switches between the guns when you press the letter G on the keyboard. This blueprint determines what gun you're currently using. Gun 1 runs this special effect for the sound and the particle effect on the gun. Gun 2 runs this special effect. This calls the deshoot function down here. The desheet function handles the line trace and applying the damage. Under content, first person, character, mesh, double click, SK mannequin, arm skeleton. Highlight grip point and copy selecting sockets. Then go to Anim Starter Pack, Mannequin, Mesh, Double Click, UE4 Mannequin Skeleton. And then highlight middle 01R, right click and paste sockets and save. Under content, FPS weapon bundle, weapons, meshes, AR4. This AR4 is missing a muzzle, so double click AR4X. Highlight muzzle, right click, copy select and sockets, and then double click AR4, and then highlight muzzle flash, right click, paste sockets, and save. Under content, Third per sheet, add new folder. I'm going to call this weapons. Under content, third per sheet weapons, right click, select blueprint class, select actor. I'm going to name this BP base gun. Right click BP base gun, select create child blueprint class. I'm going to name this BP AR4. Right click BP base gun, select create child blueprint class. I'm going to name this BP KA47. Double click BP base gun, select plus variable. I'm going to name this variable gun ID and give it a type of integer and compile and save.
and double click BP KA47. Give it a gun ID of 1 and press compile and save and double click AR4 and give it a gun ID of 2 and compile and save. Double click on AR4 and KA47. Go to content, first person weapon bundle, weapons, meshes, AR4, and then on the AR4, drag in the skeletal mesh here and Compile and save. Then go to the KA47. And under dragging the KA47 mesh here. And compile and save. Double click AR4 and KA47 on the AR4. I'll select AR4 and put minus 10 here and then compile and save. And on the KA47, I'll put in minus. 10 and compile and save. Under content, third person sheet, double click player character. Add a variable. I'm going to name it gun holder. Enter type BP base gun and compile and save. Go to edit project settings input action mapping add action mapping sheet mouse left mouse button under content third first sheet right click player character and duplicate I'm going to name it AI bot character Double click player character. This loads the initial gun when the game starts. This is BP KA47. This is grip point. Snap the target, snap the target, snap the target. Double click player character. This code handles the switching of the gun when you press the letter G on the keyboard. This is one gun here, and this is the other gun here. The only difference between this code is right here. This is AR4, and this is BPKA47. So I'm only going to show you the top portion.
This is BP AR4. Below is BP KA47. This is grip point, snap to target, snap to target, snap to target. Double click player character. This section determines what gun you're using. This handles the firing of the gun, the sound effect, and the particle effect. This is gun 1 here, and this is gun 2 here. Right now this is identical to this, but they could be different if you wanted them to be. This calls the de-sheet function, which is down here. This is gun 1, and this is gun 2. I'm only going to show you how to do this one on top because the one on the bottom is identical. This is muzzle here and muzzle here. This is first person template weapon fire zero two. This is P explosion. The output here goes down to the D sheet function here. This fifteen hundred is how far the line trace goes or how far your bullet goes. Double click player character. This is the shoot function called do shoot. I have the debug turned to persistent. Normally it would be on none. This is 25, and damage type class is damage type. I'll press play to test. I press G to switch weapons. I'll switch again. And I'll switch again. It's working correctly.